Okay. To the organizers, to the judges, and fellow NHS Half Day colleagues, good afternoon. Hands up those who are nurses in this room. This takes me to my next topic. I literally didn't realize actually it's going to be maybe two of us because I only saw one hand. Maybe others didn't raise their hands, but um, it tells that it's not a lot of nurses in here. That takes me to my next discussion, which is I realized that uh, there is a lot of nurses missing this amazing opportunity like today, especially the senior nurses in my group. And the sad thing, we are about to return. We have got a lot of information which we need to give out to the junior nurses. And we need this information stored somewhere because um, this is the, the way of learning which is happening now. Basically, when I look at the records, there's 423,000 nurses in NHS and GP practice in England. And there's 188,000 doctors. So the ratio for nurses, you suspect that we should be having really a, a bigger number, but nevertheless, we are here. Well done, if you. So, what's the solution? Basically, most of the reasons why nurses maybe are not here a lot is because it's the fear. I have that, I've lived that. It took me a lot of time to be able to stand and talk about anything but I am here. So the problem is, I feel, the technology, we are not serving with it. We are not confident. So what's the solution? We have the nurse know-how, uh, a platform which is here to up upskill the nurses. The nurse know-how platform will facilitate the nurses to do the presentation. So I'm saying to the senior nurses who might hear this, all you need to do is bring your knowledge, bring your expertise. So how are we going to do this? Um, what's the next slide? Um, okay, so it's about so, so that's how it's going to look. Um, we're going to basically uh, do recording of the uh, repair nurses on a topic which they are quite brilliant at it. And then once the recording is done, this recording will have peer review by other NHS nurses. And then we'll load this uh, recording to a teachable online platform which facilitates learning through user general content such as videos, slides, and quizzes. The aim really for this platform is to preserve knowledge, encourage learning, because the knowledge of uh, lived experience cannot be taught. Simple things like compassion, those cannot be taught. They are lived. So, in conclusion, what am I saying? Nest Know How platform is an exciting opportunity which is um, aiming to transforming learning, aiming transforming the learning landscape for nursing, capturing the 423,000 nursing, utilizing the full potential of these nurses. So basically, the curriculum, do the last slide first. The last slide, the curriculum would read like that. How the curriculum would be is basically, I'm going to have to find out what nurses want in that platform. So it will be nurse driven by what they think should be in that platform. Thank you.
Excellent, thank you. Right, panel, any questions on Nurse Know How? Thank you, that was very interesting. I'm just curious kind of how this would compare to the education that you guys are currently potentially getting online and, and whether this is touching on slightly different topics, whether it's more common skill focused or is it that it's the crowdsourced aspect of it that would sort of make it slightly different to some of the other educational content that exists for nurses? Uh, this would be less late. I'm still going to find out, but talking to a few nurses I've spoken to, there is a lot of knowledge which could be put through. For example, from where I work, there are some nurses who've got knowledge. You have to go in and say, how do you do this? Then they say, oh, this is what that is how we do. So this could be actually tailored for the hospital, the ward, or it could be nationally. So the nurses would decide what goes in there. But it's basically would be the nurses' platform. Hey, any other, oh, pause is next. We've got pause, is that right? Yeah, okay, cool. Any other questions? Yeah? Oh, sorry. No. Thanks for your presentation. I, I think for me, what I find that there is a gap in this field is the education on clinical skills, like how to manage a chest drain, how to manage a pacemaker, how to manage this and that. Uh, there's lots of mandatory skills already. They are bloody painful, and I do this 10 times over a year because each hospital wants it, and each agency wants a different mandatory training, blah, blah, blah. That really doesn't give me the skills that I'm looking for, which is how to manage a stress drain, what are the updates on critical care in terms of drugs, other things. So I, there's a company doing this in the US. So if you give me the money here, I can do it here. But we need to have a buyer. <laughs> <laughs> Um, was that a question for me? Sorry. <laughs> but I should have to say what you are saying is actually true. What the information, the learning we need is not on, most of it's not on mandatory. There's a lot of things to teach a junior nurse, basically how to speak to, how to introduce yourself to a patient, how to look after a patient who is um, maybe upset, patient with, you know, simple things, you know, there, uh, I, I find there's a, a gap, we need to close this gap. And that basically would also encourage satisfaction from the nurses. If we give them the opportunity to, to do this, they will feel great. For me, what I'm looking to do now is to give back to the community. And I don't want to come back in the hospital when I need to be cared for. And I realized, oh my God, I wish I had taught this next something. <laughs> it's too late now. Very good. How long have we got? One minute. Right, one more quick question. So it might be a bit of a leading one. I, mean, I think it's really interesting, this idea of the nurse-led and, and responding to nurses' needs. Have you thought about it making it a bit more two-way? So that you know, you've got nurses who are also helping prompt content and looking for mentors and maybe providing a bit more of broad support through through the portal to differentiate it from mandatory training or clinical training. This is the essentials of being a nurse as opposed to all the stuff you have to know. I am very open-minded. Um, this is my uh, idea. I want the nurses to help me to build this. This is for them. I'm a nurse advocate and I'm saying nurses, let's do this. Thank you.